It's All You Can Vegas. Hey everybody, it's Derek and I'm here at the Lucky Dragon Casino in Las Vegas. I am super excited to be here. This is a brand new casino hotel. It's the first casino to open in Vegas since the Cosmopolitan opened in 2010. It's also the first casino to exclusively cater to the Chinese gamblers, the high rollers, Anybody that speaks Chinese would be very comfortable here. Lots of pie gal poker tables, lots of dragon themed slot machines. But what do Chinese gamblers want when they're not gambling? Chinese food, it's the same thing I want when I'm not gambling. And the Lucky Dragon has Chinese food. In fact, that's all they have. They have a fine dining restaurant called Phoenix. They have a more casual, but still pretty fancy Chinese restaurant called Pearl Ocean. It's located up here on the mezzanine level. Then there's a, there's a Chinese food food court called Dragon's Alley and a 24 hour Chinese food snack bar called Bao Now. Let's go check it all out. this work? Uh, I think that you can order that's, uh, the menus on the, on the board. Okay. We have uh, like the bun, you know, like the like dumplings or noodle soup or uh, the rice, you know, like the roast pork over rice. And also on the other side is like the side order, you know, like an appetizer side order, whatever you pay. Then you go to the cashier to pay for it and then there's a dining table right there. Oh, over there. Okay. Dining table. Okay, great, thank you. So that was Bao Now, little dim sums and soups. And here we go into Dragon's Alley. It's supposed to be street food, inspired by Asian night markets. It's like a food court, but it has a hostess desk. All right, let's check out this food. Looks like we got noodles. Great way to start. And fried rice and stir fries. This is definitely looking like Chinese food. Crawfish, mapo tofu, curry. This looks pretty authentic. Dim sum, now we're talking. Every shape and color and meat imaginable. Weird ones that I don't even know what those are. I think those are turnip cakes. It's more over this way. It's almost it kind of reminds me of a buffet. So everything's, everything's just kind of laid out. All right, that's some kind of skewers and fish balls and hanging ducks. Now I feel like I'm in China or Chinatown. Got the noodle guy here. Rice, different okay, thick, noodle, thin noodle. thick noodles, thin noodles, 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 rice noodles, and chicken and beef broth. And your components for the soup, the shrimp and chicken, pork, veggies, fish balls, the usual. Some shellfish wrapped in plastic over ice. Everything here looks pretty fresh, pretty clean. Not really busy. But they did just open, so maybe, maybe nobody knows about this place yet. It is all over the news, though. So you got your drinks here if you want, your Coca-Cola, your vitamin water, perfectly matched with Chinese food. Here's some kind of pastry. Oh, these are the desserts, like apple tarts. What is this, like a carrot cake, cheesecake. This is a Chinese food. Boba, okay, here we go. Is it brewed in there? Is it? Is that like the 
milk or something? Or? No, uh, we put some milk and roasted. You know, oh. the, uh, roasted. Uh, yeah. uh, okay. Yeah. 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 So lots of teas here, milk tea, Thai tea, black tea. Gotta be honest, I want something, something more of a sit-down experience. Not alley food. I want to try Pearl Ocean. It's right here, and it's open. Let's check it out. All right, we made it to Pearl Ocean. Let's take a look at this menu. I see dumplings and dumpling soup and bao and dumplings. Good thing I like dumplings because this place has dumplings and rice rolls and dumplings. This menu actually looks great. I love all this stuff. All right, they got a few things blacked out. Maybe the menu, the full menu isn't isn't available, but there's plenty to choose from. Lots of meat, fish bladder, beef belly. I don't think I'll get the fish bladder. Durian puff. Some pretty exotic items on this menu. Kind of want to start with something standard, but I also want something fancy. Conchi. Okay, here's the prices. Okay, so an extra small is 488, small is 588, all the way up to 1288. Oh, and on the menu, things go right on up to 1888 and beyond. They've got house teas, premium teas. Going for twelve to nineteen dollars a pot. I do like tea, but I think I'm gonna skip the tea and go straight for the dumplings. Okay, so a little bit about Pearl Ocean. Um, it's unlike any other dim sum restaurant. It's not like the car pushing. Uh, we do our dim sum fresh. Okay. I start you off with some water. Do you prefer any tea at all, or are you okay? Okay. And just like that, here's our first dim sum. It's pretty crazy looking, and I can't wait to try it. It's actually a shrimp, shrimp dumpling with, with little dried shrimp bits on top. And these are taro cubes, griddled, maybe fried, maybe straight up fried. I only make these better. I mean, it is taro. Famous vegetable, well, a tuber. Famous for being a purple tuber. And now the Xiaolong Bao. This is the Five Guys Xiaolong Bao. Beautiful presentation, colorful soup dumplings. Have you ever seen soup dumplings look like this? Now you have, because this is the Five Guys Xiaolong Bao. The green one, it's kale inside mixed with that pork and the skin is colored with spinach. The red one, beets. It's a skin colored with beets, and there's fresh beets inside, as well as pork. The black one is a squid ink skin, and black truffle mixed in with that filling. The yellow turmeric skin with some crab roe inside with the pork, and of course the natural flower skin, the standard. Xiaolong Bao with juicy pork and soup inside. All right, let's take a look inside this shrimp dumpling. Delicate skin, crazy spicy dried shrimps and fish flake things on top. And of course, a big juicy whole shrimp inside. And the taro cube. It's soft and it has it has like a salt and pepper chili spice 
dropped all over the top of it. Scoop that up with the, the taro paste cube. Pop it in my mouth. And of course, we gotta look, we gotta take a look inside the soup dumpling. This is the beet soup dumpling. Look at that, the juicy soup, the juicy pork, the juicy skin. This is a juicy dumpling. So that was our taste of Pearl Ocean. Not too bad price-wise, considering the quality and how creative a lot of the dishes are. And you even get a discount if you sign up for the casino's player's card. And you should, of course, because that's why you're in Vegas, to play the casino games. And you might just get lucky at the Lucky Dragon. Hey, thanks for watching, everybody. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Leave a comment and let me know what you think about Lucky Dragon. And be sure to subscribe for more. Because there's always more to eat when it's all you can Vegas.